Welcome to r slash ask reddit. Today's question. What do you envy about the opposite sex? Here's our first comment. Just sheer strength. Opening a jar. Easy. Lifting this heavy misplaced thing. Wham, bam, done. Oh, got to dig a hole. Let me just use my bare hands because I got to put all this testosterone to use. No periods, free to grow body hair, prostates. Edit, also, just remember that men usually have awesome eyelashes for no reason whatsoever. What's up with that? I'm jealous of girls because they get to wear dresses. Todd Flanders, The Simpsons. Peeing on the side of the road slash in the forest without crouching and trying to avoid your pants slash shoes. Edit, okay I appreciate things like the shiwi exist and may consider getting one if I take up more hiking in the future, however I'd still rather just be able to whip my parts out and do it without equipment. Not having a dong that is randomly turned on at any given moment of the day. They'll never know the pain of going to sit on a bike seat on a particularly warm day and pinching your balls. I know both sexes can do this but getting a whole bunch of your friends and sit while people are getting the dead skin off your hands and feet, cleaning and fixing your nails. My wife dragged me once and I really liked it. But none of my guy friends want to do it. I thought it'll be something cool than our usual sit at a bar drink beer thing. Receiving compliments from both genders when I post a picture. If I post a selfie on Facebook, I'm going to get 50 likes from the brothers but zero comments. They have a lot more options on what to wear in an office. Us men have one option only, shirt and trousers. Men get functional jumpers that have sensible necklines and can put a t-shirt underneath. And shirts that cover their lower back when they sit down. As a girl who goes to the gym, I envy how naturally strong men are and how it's easier for them to build muscle, I know it's different for everyone, but in general. I wish I could lift as heavy, and I know I could do it, but I'd need to train harder slash longer. They get to wear little mini skirts. But the second my balls are dangling in the wind, people lose their piss. I seriously envy her orgasm. I love all the bright colors women can wear and have available to them. I wanted some pink converse and had to get a woman's size 13 or something. I have bought shirts in the thrift store and taking them home and my wife is like that's a blouse. Edit, haha this blew up. To the people that say wear what you want even if it's a blouse I absolutely 100% agree. Except, and I only have my own experience with a few pieces of clothing, women's tops are sometimes cut weird, trim at the sides and then hanging down at the front. They also are sometimes in um weird material not like the shirts I buy that gets all wrinkly and what not in the dryer. As I said somewhere down there, I am essentially lazy. I would love the floral patterns and big butt polka dots and cool designs just transferred to a men's shirt I know will fit properly. If I had a smaller frame I absolutely would, you always hear about Bowie or Prince wearing their girlfriend's clothes and I totally get that. But yes, wear what you want, I obviously do. I have a small collection of 60s and 70s where I have bought specifically because it looked awesome and it looks like some women's clothing does now. Not having boobs and therefore not having to account for them in clothing choices. I mean, small breasts are fine I guess, but once they have a certain size, you're screwed. Most fitted clothes are designed for people with smaller breasts and won't fit you properly. Clothes fit you everywhere except for your chest and the ones that do fit your chest are too loose everywhere else, hang down from your breasts and make you look twice as wide as you are. If you do find something that fits you, people will shame you and call you a slut for showing off your breasts. Well, sorry, for wearing a shirt that's my actual size and is not even low cut or anything, instead of hiding inside a sweater that is three sizes too big. Also, the astronomical cost of bras and the struggle of having breasts that are not perfectly firm and perky. Also, 
Men can go topless. F breasts. I've run out of fingers to count the number of times I've been criticized for being too provocative when wearing a turtleneck. Plus, once you pass a certain size, bras are flipping expensive. The last time I found a bra that fit properly, and thanks to weight changes, time of the month, and god knows what else, they change all the time, a single bra cost me $68. For one, the least amount you can get away with is three with constant washing but depending on your laundry abilities you need more. And you're supposed to hand wash them with baby soap or they don't last as long and if I'm spending that much on bras, I'm going to buy the stupid special detergent, so they last. And you also need special bras like sports bras or sleep bras or adjustable strap bras so that they work with that dress you had to buy to be a bridesmaid or whatever. Men's underwear would never be priced so high. Last time I matched with someone on Tinder was in April. They unmatched me in an hour before I even saw the notification. Edit, fear not my lonely friends, I took some advice from this thread and expanded my bio and I got another match. Edit 2, and they responded. Being able to compliment someone of the same sex about their appearance. I often see girls complimenting other girls on Instagram post with things such as stunner, babe etc etc with us guys you just don't get that often and if a guy did it out of the blue it would seem very out of place. Also, guys complimenting girls about their appearance is often seen as simping when in actuality, most guys just want to say something nice. The same doesn't often apply to girls complimenting guys, at least from what I've seen, feel free to correct me on that one. Edit, holy piss this blew up overnight, thanks for my first ever reward editor. Fashion. When I go shopping with my GF, I always see 10 things I'd wear as a girl to one thing I wear as a guy. I'm jealous of casual formal wear. A girl could wear a dress to any occasion you could imagine but you can't with men's formal wear. I'd look like an absolute idiot if I showed up to the pool in a sunsuit plus you can buy a gorgeous dress for like $5 if you catch a good deal. I think there is more variety to women's wear, and I hate that the men's section in every store is at most half the size of the women's and usually more like one quarter. I've stopped caring about shoes and wear women's sneakers sometimes. Edit, some people seem to misunderstand what I mean by this. I'm not jealous of anything in particular. I'm jealous of the options in general. There's not a whole lot of selection in the men's section of stores. I don't want to wear a dress, although thanks for all of the support saying that I should wear a dress if I want ha ha, and I'm also happy with what I can wear, I'm happy with my deep pockets and my properly measured pants. I just want to walk into a store and have the whole store be for me for once. Also, thanks for the suggestions as to how to spice up my wardrobe. They they have functional pockets. Multiple orgasms. Men generally don't have to feel obligated to attend baby and bridal showers. I envy that. People assume most men want to do something bad when around children or women alone. Not being asked if you are married, engaged have kids, planning on having kids at a job interview. All illegal by the way. That that they're not necessarily expected to have children. As a woman, people get shocked when I say I don't want kids. Apparently, it's a part of the gift that comes with being a woman. Also, I have endometriosis and couldn't ever dream of being pain free because of it. Being taken more seriously and seen as competent at work. Worked as an engineer for many years and having people regularly assume you don't know anything is soul crushing more than it is funny. I didn't spend 10 years studying this piss just so you could ignore me in meetings and direct all the attention to my colleague who doesn't know piss just because he is a man and I must be the secretary. Now work in another field where there is less of a gender disparity, but I'm still a bit sad that I wasted so much time on engineering. Their ability to express their mental issues without the same level of skepticism. Penises sound really great all around. Easy peeing, easy masturbation, helicopter dong, 
No swamp crotch. For real the only problem you guys seem to have is balls, though I hear they feel good during sex. Being able to wear shorts without having to shave slash wax their legs first. God damn it, I hate waxing my legs, but in summer it becomes an absolute necessity. And never being obligated to make the first move. As a guy, I flipping hate with a passion that it feels like we have to do all the work, deal with the rejection, plan everything out, be expected to pay for everything, or else we're the deadbeats slash broke slash worthless. Get out of here with that trash. I just spent the last 10 minutes on Tinder, so, how easy it is to find a partner, or at least the abundance of options. To be a 6 on 10 male on Tinder is a self-confidence stress test that should be considered a war crime in certain areas. To be a 6 on 10 female on Tinder is like attending a dong buffet, but at least you've got choices. Edit, thanks for gilding my misery. Women typically live longer, so there you have it. I'd love to go on a walk alone at night and just enjoy the night air. Being able to wear basketball shorts with no underwear and not have your completely flaccid dong just sticking out. I guess it's a norm, but it just feels like women are generally taught by society to be more social and likable. So many of the guys I know are just flipping irritating and have pissy traits that quickly make their good traits seem insignificant. With women, those negative traits don't stick out as much. I guess this also leads to how much I envy certain girls for putting up with some guy's bull piss. The end. Thanks for watching.